Arizona and San Francisco will wrap things up here today. Dallas Keuchel going for the Diamondbacks and Logan Webb going for the Giants. Uh, Logan Webb has pitched well um, for San Francisco. But here's an interesting stat, guys, that San Francisco has lost five of Logan Webb's seven last uh, seven starts. So, And the problem with Webb is he looks pretty good, but he'll have like one bad inning every outing. And uh, his bad innings can really be bad as uh, he can give up three or four runs at a time. Giants are a heavy favorite in this game. Giants are minus 230 in this contest. The Giants have been slumping a little bit as of late. Uh, They lost uh, last night, fell behind early, tried to battle back, couldn't get the job done. And uh, Arizona, hard team to figure out at times. Uh, Jeff, some thoughts on the Giants and the Diamondbacks tonight. And I know how much of a fan you are, Jeff, and we all are, I'm joking, of Dallas Keuchel. Yeah, I've been picking on him a lot. Um, And the truth is, he's just not a good pitcher anymore. He just is really struggling. Um, He's been a mess. You made a great point about Webb and kind of the the issues with this Giants team and winning his starts. And look, the one thing I am somewhat concerned about is the fact that in July, 12 days, San Francisco is hitting 208 as a club. Okay, but I still look at where they are at runs per game. I mean, they're at about 4.7 runs per game. You know, they've been a fine home offense, four and a half runs per game, which is where I have a team total here at four and a half. No juice. Um, I-, I was hoping that's what I was going to get, and I'm getting it here. If I can lay that against Dallas Keuchel and not have to worry about the Giants pitching, I really don't care if they win. I just need him to get the five or more runs. It's pretty simple. And when we look at Keuchel, okay, obviously – Betting against him is smart, but betting against him on the road has been uh, extremely smart. You know, on the road this year, I mean, he's got an ERA south of 12, just south of 12. Opponents are in 380 off of him. His whip is 2.4. Think about that. Now, it's only 16 innings, but I mean, he's been a disaster, this guy. I mean, lefties this season are hitting 342 off of him. Righties are hitting 320. I mean, he just allows base runners galore. Throw in the fact that this Arizona bullpen is one of the worst in baseball. Now, they're not bottom five bad, but they're bottom eight bad. They're a bad bullpen. Uh, if you're going to give me four and a half with this offense, I think this is a great candidate to bust out against. In that ballpark, I think they get to him here. Over four and a half runs for the Giants. And the Giants have got built back in the lineup last night. Crawford's back as well, yep. too. So the Giants lineup is is it their best that they've been in quite some time. Base winner? Yeah, TC, you, you, both of you guys made really good points. TC, I'm going to seize on the, the first thing you said about Logan Webb because I think it, it is an interesting handicapping point where you have a guy who looks just tremendous for six innings, but he'll have one inning of those six that he'll give up three runs. And that's hard to model because you're taking the aggregate of the six innings. And uh, so sometimes the models don't pick that up. But, you know, Nola was like that uh, last year. Uh, in 2021, he you, you'd, you'd have a bet on him and he would just be breezing through the game and then he'd have one like a hiccup inning and it would it would cost you the bet. So I think that's interesting. I don't know if it's a it's a thing with Webb, maybe perhaps, but his his uh, his base winner numbers are pretty good. I have him actually 15th out of 150 in baseball. I got this game priced at minus 273 for the Giants. And it was a lot better yesterday. It's really kind of crept up there. It's uh, It was minus 165 uh, when it was released, and it's kind of gone up to minus 205. But I'm going to make it the second part of the uh, of the parlay with the Braves, the National League parlay, if you will. And interestingly enough, they both play plus 128. So uh, I think that, that uh, Jeff made a good point about the Diamondbacks bullpen. He said, well, they might not be bottom five, but they're bottom eight. Well, I actually have them bottom five. They're the 25th worst bullpen, or 25th ranked bullpen, fifth worst in baseball. And uh, I've got the Giants ranked seventh in baseball from a bullpen standpoint. So we've got a significant edge starting pitching, significant edge in bullpen. You look at the stuff plus for Keiko, you say, well, maybe he's got good stuff. He just can't command it. Well, he's got bad stuff. It's a 14 percentile from a stuff plus standpoint. Logan Webb uh, comes in at 60 percent from a stuff plus standpoint. So I think for all those reasons, I think there's I think there's only way to, one way to play it. I mean, this is another one of those games where like, OK, I want to hear the guy handicap Arizona. I really do. Uh, it'd be interesting uh, handicap for me to, to have another guy, have a guy handicap the other side. Cause I just can't, I don't see a, a way to play Arizona here. All right. All right. Put Jeff down for this one with the San Francisco giants team total, getting some runs here at home tonight 
over four and a half, uh, lane 110 in that one. And then base winners putting the Giants on his parlay. And we'll go over that when we get to the best bet segment, who he's locking that up with uh, as well, too. 